Hey everyone, it's Mary back with another day in the 30 days of inspiration for January 2024, do you believe it? So I've talked about integrity and clarity and with that, what happens? Fear, right? All of these thoughts of I'm not enoughness, of, any, of anything, whatever that is for you, comes up. So how do you, you know, like how do you become, gain integrity with your word if you are afraid to hold yourself accountable? Or you don't want to tell anybody because then somebody else will say, hey, so you said that you were going to do this. How are you doing with that? And you've done nothing. So, and then with, with clarity, right? That movement piece. Clarity comes with movement, but it can be uh, taking that first step. Can you can be full of fear, and how do you get how do you get past the the wall? How do you get past the not looking good enough, or how do you get past the what are others going to think of me? Right. So today's quote. Listen to this: Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. This is a quote by Madame Curie. By the way, she's from Poland. She's Polish and um, brilliant. She won two Nobel Prizes, two prizes, two, uh, maybe not Nobel Prizes, I'm not sure, but well, anyway, anyway, she's highly, highly acclaimed. So nothing in life is to be feared. It's only to be understood. So break it down. Where's the fear coming from? Who was it that said you weren't good enough? Who was it that said you weren't worthy? And seriously, where does it come from? The best thing to do whenever fear crops up, I always, I always do this with my clients, whenever fear crops up is to do a timeline exercise. And a timeline exercise is you, you can draw a straight line. You can, uh, you can download one. I'll put a link down in the description of where to go grab my timeline exercise. But you, know, you can do it on a piece of paper. You draw a line in the middle of a piece of paper. Think of the past three to five years. Things that you accomplished, things that you did, that you did well on. It could be something that you did at work. It could be something you did at school. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. These are not big things. Trust me, it's not big things. It could be uh, you you graduated, right? You graduated from high school or college or uh, you graduated from a class, right? You got your driver's license. Um, you know, it could be you got a new client or you launched your website or you had a first date. Like, these aren't monument. These aren't monumental things. You actually don't want them to be monumental things. The hairy, scary things, right? You want them to be like these because you want to be. You want to start. You want to start noticing these everyday things that you do that are awesome, because a lot of times we just let these things fly by and we don't even take the time to go. Wow, I really did that. That's you know, like that's pretty cool. So do this timeline exercise. So for the past three to five years. Don't make it any longer than five because then it gets too junked up. So it doesn't have to be in any order. It doesn't have to have dates, but you want to write above the line like these accomplishments that you can be proud of that maybe you told somebody, maybe you didn't and you should, but anyway, nonetheless, you accomplished these things. So write them above the line. Now, you also want to write down the things that you sucked at, the things that didn't go so well in your life. Um, you had a first date and it was terrible, right? With a guy that you didn't like. No, that was just a big no, right? Um, let's see. Uh, you, you, I mean, you got fired. I mean, it happens. Um, let's see. What else would be would be a bad thing? You lost a, you um, lost a client, or you didn't get. Um, you didn't you didn't do well on a presentation that you were making. Whatever what whatever it doesn't matter. Write them below. Now on each one of these things, whether they're good or bad, there are lessons that you should have learned. If you this is the key is taking the time to notice these things, because fear is something is a shit that you made up. It doesn't fear it doesn't actually exist. 
right? But it does, you can feel it in your body. We have to notice where it is in our body and then we have to address it. So that's what this timeline exercise is about. So you then, you've got this stuff above the line, below the line. You're gonna write a word of what part that you played in this. Like I wasn't paying attention or I wasn't being true to myself, I didn't trust myself or uh, I was feeling sassy or I was feeling sexy that day or I was feeling confident or I was passionate. I was feeling um, abundant. Like those words above like a, a lesson of something that you learned from each event on the top and the bottom. And then take the three to five words that most speak to what you want more of in your life. So even if it's a bad, something, you know, that you put negative underneath, there is still a lesson that you learned. Like, I'm happy that I learned this lesson of boundaries. Like, I learned to say no. That's a great, like, that's a great lesson, right? Learning how to say no. So you, you're going to take these three to five words and put them in a statement for yourself. Like, I am creative, passionate, abundant woman. Those are things that no one can take away from you. So when you're feeling full of fear, when the all of these negative thoughts creep up about, why me? I can't do this. Um, it's not my time he doesn't like me, she doesn't like me, um, whatever it is for you, take a look at this sentence that you have created and know that that is in fact true. You cannot take that away from you. Those are experiences and things that you did not Joe, not Sally, not your mother. Those are things that you did. Own it. Because once your head starts going down the lane of fear, you can go down that rabbit hole and stay there and get stuck. And yet again, you then get to say yourself that I'm not deserving. I'm not good enough. No one loves me. No one ever is going to love me. I don't deserve to be here. I don't deserve a seat at the table. When none of that is in fact true. That is shit that you made up. So, okay, maybe your teacher in school told you that you were never gonna go to college, which is what my uh, guidance counselor told me, that I was never gonna be good enough to go to college. Well, that simply wasn't true because I did go to college and I did, well in college and here I am. So just because someone said something to you does not make that a true statement. That is their stuff. That's their stuff. Actually, when we say stuff like that, it's usually that it we're saying it because we're looking where it's like we're looking in a mirror and we're mirroring this from something else that we that we heard or some something that somebody somebody told us it simply honestly it is not true that is somebody's perception so when you do this timeline exercise it gives you that power it puts you back in the driver's seat of being enough you are already enough to have whatever it is that you want. Now, there may be things that you have to learn. I had to learn how to do this. I had to find the, 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 the I don't know, courage maybe, or the, um, I don't give a fuck attitude, maybe, like, uh, whatever. Like, uh, but I had to, uh, I had to do it and then do this timeline exercise and so that I could look at these words that I have, and I, and I have them here, right here. Creative, adventurous, inspiring, confident, innovative, and bold, right? 
That's, these are words that describe me. And I get to look at that every day when I'm sitting here at my desk. I get to look at those words and know that those are in true, they are in fact me. So even though I may be doing something for the fucking first time, it doesn't mean, and I may suck at it actually, but it doesn't mean that it's not for me. What it all it means is that I gotta keep, I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep, keep doing it until I know that I know that I know I can feel it in my body. I know that I know that I know that I can set aside this fear of what other people think, of what, of what may go wrong. What could happen? I could, I could screw this up. Oh, okay. That's not a bad thing as long as I'm learning something. So go out there today, be fearless. Because we started out with integrity of your word, being true to who you are, gaining the trust in yourself and accountability. And we went and then we looked at clarity, getting, creating the movement that will guide you to passion, purposeful passion. And today we're talking about fearless, getting fearless. Know that you know that you know, and you may fuck it all up and it's all okay because we've got to start somewhere and we're going to get through this one step at a time. Go out there and be fearless today. As Madame Curie says, nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Find out, question the fear. Where did you come from? And is that still true today? Just because my high school guidance counselor told me I was never gonna, I was never good enough to go to university, that doesn't make that true today. That was actually 50 years ago. Do I have to live with that for 50 years? Seriously? You wanna do that? Let it go. Go out there and be fearless. I'll see you tomorrow.